television audiences can be pretty forgiving of celebrities, but there are certain television actors that have crossed the line. There are a good number of stars that have been kicked off of television as a result of controversies, and the number has only risen in the wake of cancel culture and the Me Too movement. Join Trender as we take a look at actors who got kicked off TV after massive scandals. Kevin Spacey when House of Cards premiered on the Netflix platform in 2013, it became a massive hit with critics and audiences. The show played a large part in legitimizing content made specifically for streaming platforms, with craft comparable to a premium cable series or theatrical film. A big part of the series' theatrical quality came from lead actor Kevin Spacey, better known for his blockbuster film roles than television work. However, in 2017, allegations brought up against Kevin Spacey by a fellow actor caused him to have to be fired from the series. The show attempted to continue production without Kevin, but the magic wasn't there. According to the allegations, it seems that Kevin has had a history of sexually abusing his co-workers in Hollywood. This includes incidents involving indecent exposure as well as general verbal taunting. When an actor that had apparently interacted with Kevin as a minor brought up the initial allegations, numerous others came forward with their own horror stories about the Hollywood star. Some of the crew members involved in the production of House of Cards also claimed that the actor could be abusive on set. Although Kevin Spacey was fired from House of Cards and hasn't been seen much since, he posted a strange video on social media that many took as an indication that he was looking to get back into Hollywood. Not long after that, it was announced that Kevin was set to appear in an Italian film revolving around the decidedly apt topic of pedophilia. The film, titled The Man Who Drew God, also stars Vanessa Redgrave as Faye Dunaway, as well as its director, Franco Nero. Kevin Spacey is likely hoping that his role in the film will serve as a way back into the entertainment industry. Danny Masterson Most people will likely know Danny Masterson for his time on the hit sitcom That 70s Show, but the actor had also recently had a pretty successful role on the Netflix series The Ranch. Like Kevin Spacey the same year, Danny Masterson was fired from the series in 2017 after numerous women came forward with accusations that the actor had sexually assaulted them. The accusations resulted in a lawsuit against not only Danny but also the Church of Scientology. Many may not know this, but Danny Masterson has been a Scientologist since his days on That 70s Show, a trait he shares with his former series co-star, Laura Prepon. The suit against Danny and the Church of Scientology is still ongoing and involves three women that have accused the actor of sexual assault and the supposed religious institution of covering it up. Though it remains to be seen how the results will play for the defendants, it's unlikely that Danny is going to be finding his way back onto television anytime soon. As with House of Cards, the ranch continued. Thankfully, the loss of Danny Masterson didn't have quite the same impact as the loss of Kevin Spacey did on the prior series. In addition to Danny, The Ranch also starred Ashton Kutcher, who was previously on That 70s Show. Jussie Smollett Jussie Smollett was one of the stars of the hit series Empire before he performed a bizarre public stunt that saw him fake an assault upon himself for apparently no reason. Most people had never even heard the actor's name when he first started appearing on the news with stories that he had been the victim of a hate crime. Jussie claimed that two men had assaulted him on account of his race and sexual orientation. As it turns out, the actor had made it all up. It remains uncertain exactly why Jussie Smollett felt the need to fake the hate crime, but he is certainly going to get his comeuppance. The star was fired from the series, though he was apparently already about to be written off the show. Many have speculated that Jesse committed the crime in retaliation after learning that he was being written off the series. The act certainly brought the actor more attention than he'd ever received before, but it wasn't the good kind. If you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to hit the like button to show your support. Also, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to be among the first to know when more Awesome Trender videos are on their way. Roseanne Barr While all of the previously mentioned stars were certainly large parts of the respective series that they ended up being kicked off of, the show that Roseanne Barr was kicked off of was actually named after her. 
Roseanne was one of the most popular sitcoms of the 1990s, and many television fans were incredibly excited when it was announced that the series was coming back onto the air. However, not too long into the reunion series, Roseanne was fired. Roseanne Barr has always been a figure that has spoken her mind, and this has only got her into more and more trouble in recent years. The controversy that caused her to be fired from the series bearing her name came about after some remarks that she made regarding a woman by the name of Valerie Jarrett, who was then acting as an advisor to Barack Obama during his presidency. Roseanne called the woman an ape, and the remark was construed as being racist. The beloved comedian apologized, though still ended up being fired from her own series. The show was subsequently rebranded as The Connors. Jenny McCarthy In the late 2010s, Jenny McCarthy was hired onto the daytime series The View to act as one of its hosts, then was fired only a short time later. The reason for the former Playboy model's firing was that she had espoused some views about vaccines that her fellow hosts on the show didn't find appropriate for the daytime audience. Jenny has always been known for her stance against vaccines, even before being against vaccines became popular. Jenny didn't mind being fired from the series as she has claimed that she was miserable during her tenure as one of its hosts. She felt as if she couldn't be herself during her time on the show and has said that she often went to work crying. The model-turned-actress also claimed that her fans were let down by her appearance on the series, as they noticed that she wasn't allowed to show her true colors during her time on it. Paula Dean In the early 2010s, Food Network staple Paula Dean had to be let go by the station after she was caught using racial slurs. Of course, the beloved chef had developed a reputation for her unique southern charm, in addition to her country cooking. And few were surprised to learn that some Southerners had a tendency of being a little racist. Paula took the controversy head-on, admitting to the use of the slur and claiming that she was going to do better next time. However, the Food Network didn't want there to be any next time. While it remains uncertain if Paula has given up on the use of racial slurs behind closed doors, the chef has certainly made some notable changes in recent years. In 2021, Paula turned heads when it was revealed that she'd lost a ton of weight. Charlie Sheen During Charlie Sheen's later years on the hit series Two and a Half Men, the actor appeared to be having a nervous breakdown. The series had proved to be a comeback for the beloved actor after he had lost some of his popularity during the 1990s. However, the newfound attention didn't end up sitting very well with the former movie star, and he later had to be fired from the show for his erratic behavior. Charlie was fired from the series due to remarks that he had made about 9-11 during a particularly unhinged interview. Soon after being fired from Two and a Half Men in 2011, Charlie Sheen was swooped up by the FX network and given his very own show by the name of Anger Management. The show was a success, though Charlie apparently got co-star Selma Blair fired from the series after its first season because he didn't get along with her. Charlie still remains a cult celebrity, though few people consider him to be sane. Two and a Half Men continued airing after Charlie was fired, with the producers hiring on Ashton Kutcher as a sort of replacement to fill the void. Audiences certainly didn't enjoy the chemistry between Ashton and co-star John Cryer as much as they had the chemistry between John and Charlie Sheen. Matt Lauer A few years into the Me Too movement, host Matt Lauer was fired from his role on NBC's Today due to allegations that had been brought up against him relating to how he treated women in the workplace. There were also some more serious allegations, including some regarding sexual assault. In the years since being fired from his role on the seminal news series, Matt has claimed that he's going to write a tell-all book exposing other figures in the industry. According to him, 2022 is going to be the year that it drops. All of the previously discussed television stars were fired from their respective series as a result of controversies, though some have managed to crawl their way back into the spotlight. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know that that 70s show actor Danny Masterson was a member of the Church of Scientology? 
and that three women have alleged that the supposed religious institution helped cover up numerous sexual assaults for the television star? As always, like this video to show your support, and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be among the first to know when more Trender videos are on their way.